Hello everyone, my name is Tracy Telkin and today I'm going to be painting a line of floral doodles. In this video, I'll be transferring my original sketch onto a piece of watercolor paper and then I'll be painting that in. The materials I'll be using are a permanent black fine liner pen to outline the final watercolor a glass of water, paper towel, and a plate or a palette to paint from, a number two watercolor brush, and your watercolor paints. You'll also need a piece of watercolor paper to transfer your sketch onto. Now, if you don't want to use your original sketch, if you'd like to keep that intact, then you can either make a photocopy of it or you can redraw the sketch onto the watercolor paper. If the back page of your sketch has something else drawn on it, then you wouldn't be able to do this type of transfer, in which case I would suggest either redrawing it or photocopying it and then you can do the transfer with the photocopy in the method that I'm about to show you. Now back to the video. If you drew your sketch directly onto a piece of watercolor paper to begin with then you can skip this transfer step. You'll need a pencil to do this part. Flip your sketch page over onto the back and draw over the entire area of your sketch with the side of your pencil. Make sure you do this pretty dark. I had done mine lighter and then after I had traced over the sketch with pencil pressing down onto the watercolor paper, my transfer was pretty light uh, as you can see and I ended up having to trace over the transfer with some more pencil in order for me to be able to see. But if you make sure that you darken the back of your sketch paper with the pencil really well, then you may not have to go over it again with pencil like I'm doing right now. The colors I chose were the purple and the rose. And then for my third color of flower, I'm going to mix the purple and the rose together to get an analogous color which means they're side by side on the color wheel. Analogous colors tend to harmonize with each other pretty good. So I'm just taking my green and painting in the leaves and then I'm starting with the pink and choosing flowers pretty much an equal distance away from each other just to balance the painting out. Then I'm going to take some purple and do the same thing. I attempted to make my first layer of color light so that way I could go back and add some shadows where needed. So I'm just getting ready to use my third color and I'm going to test it on a paper towel to see if I have the shade that I want. Now I'm going to go back into my green and touch up the areas that I missed the first time, which would be the stems and the base of the flowers. Now that my first layer is dry, I'm going to add my shadows in a darker purpley color. 
and then I'll add some shadow areas to the pink as well. I will also be adding shadows to the green leaves by painting half of the leaf a darker green. And then I'm going to add a few more shadows to the purple areas while I'm waiting for the pink areas to dry. If you'd like to see how I sketched and inked my original doodle, I do have a video for that and I'll link that in the description below and tack a card on at the top of this screen. I'm going to add a few more shadows to the pink areas and then I decided I was going to outline my flowers and leaves with the black fine liner. You can either leave yours alone as a watercolor or you could ink over the watercolor areas that you want more defined. And this is the completed watercolor. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, or subscribe. When you engage with uh, my video, it helps to support my channel. I'd like to thank you for watching, and if you'd like to check out my original sketch video of that doodle, please watch the next video. Take care, and bye for now.